All right, so Sandy Ridge students, here is our first drawing challenge. We are going to do the perfect slice of pizza. As always though, first we need to kind of find the middle of our paper. So we're gonna draw some nice light dashed guidelines down the center in one direction, down the center in the other direction. And now I know that's about my midway point on my paper. Big slice of pizza. We don't want a little bitty slice of pizza. Nobody wants to eat a little slice of pizza. Everybody likes a big slice of pizza. So a pizza, slice of pizza, right, is just pretty much a triangle with a nice curve up here at the top because we know it's just one piece out of a big round pizza pie. So we're gonna start by lightly sketching in an upside down triangle. I'm gonna go a little bit darker so you guys can see what I'm doing here. And don't forget, you can always turn your paper any way you need to. Bring it up a little bit higher. Big, 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 big slice of pizza. Turn. Get ourselves a nice curve on that pizza slice. All right. There's our general shape. Now, we know pizza's got crust. So we want to put on a nice crust. Not quite even, right? A little bumpy. Hand toss pizza crust. Give it a little bit of a curved edge. And come back out here and refine this a little bit too. Don't need a perfect edge on that outside edge. Give it some fun wiggles. All right, my pizza slice. Maybe you like pepperoni. You're thinking about those toppings, right? What are we gonna put on this slice of pizza? All right, well, Mrs. Moore happens to love black olives and mushrooms, but since I know a lot of people like those Pepperoni pizzas. I'll go ahead and put some pepperoni on my pizza too. And we just sort of gently put those circles on them when you've got the shape you like. You gotta put on a little black olive slice. A little mushroom. slice of mushroom don't have all of your things fit perfectly on the pizza because you know sometimes when they start cutting that pizza cut some of those things in half so put some coming off the sides everything can't fit on perfectly sometimes they toss those pepperoni slices on they're right up against each other Maybe you want a little piece of a green pepper on there. All right, just get some fun toppings on here. Keep working your toppings. <laughs> Once we have our slice of pizza all drawn out, it's time to start adding some color. Remember, we want to make sure we add different values of the same color. That gives our pizza that sense of depth. It gives it some just 
some visual variety, makes it exciting to look at, um, and it's a whole lot more fun. Start with your little things first. So let's start working on your pepperoni or maybe your mushrooms or your little black olives, whatever you have on your pizza first. This could be a colored pencil or a crayon lesson, whatever you have at home, um, but let's just add some fun, fun color to it. So always wanna sort of isolate that area that you're gonna color, sort of give it, cover up those colored pencil mark, uh, the pencil marks with our colored pencil, and then we can slowly start coloring in. Remember, like I said, adding different values of the same color, right? Those different tints and shades of the same color. And remember, if we press lighter or darker on our colored pencil, we also get that same effect. So we can take one colored pencil and create different values just by how hard we press on it, or you can have a few different colors to get that different tints and shades in there.